Thank you for turning to page 121. Today we're going to go to the Dungeon Master's Guide to answer the question, what do you do if you need healing and you don't have a cleric? We're going to take a look at potions of healing, extra healing, and Keotum's ointment, one of my favorite uh, items in D&D. &D. Uh, we're going to take a look at all three of these and how they can be used to uh, heal members of your party and maybe a little more today on page 121. Also, real quick, please subscribe. Uh, please take a look at Patreon, see if there's anything you can do out to help out there, existing subscribers and patrons. Thank you. It, that's all. I uh, want to get back to the important stuff today. Out of the Dungeon Master's Guide, Potions of Healing, Extra Healing, and Jars of Kyotum's Ointment. Today on page 121. Potions of Healing, Extra Healing, and Kyotum's Ointment. Wow, some good items to get. Some stuff I, I like to give out. Fairly early in a campaign. I don't want to give it maybe the first night or two, but uh, if the crew has a cleric, then I let the cleric carry most of the load for a while, and then I'll introduce some of these. Potions of healing. I only get one little spot here with three little lines. Healing. An entire potion must be consumed in a single drinking in a round in order for this liquor to restore, restore four to ten points. Two die four plus two. Hit points of damage. And then, of course, see extra healing. So that's all it does. Okay. Well, that's pretty straightforward. You drink this thing down. It takes you around. You get uh, 2 die 4 plus 2 hit points. So 4 to 10. That's pretty sweet. And then we get to the potion of extra healing, which is right on top of the same page. And the potion of extra healing, this guy says, this potion restores 6 to 27, 3 die 8 plus 3, Hit points of damage when wholly consumed, or 1 to 8 points of damage for each one-third potion. Okay, that's it. That's all it says. Okay, pretty straightforward. When I started playing d and I thought, well, these are, you know, it's nice and simple, straightforward. I came across Kyotum's Ointment, one of my particular favorite items to, to have and give out. I love when my, play, my characters get some KO, as we call it. Kyotum's Ointment, interesting note, by the way. Kyotum is Tom Kyo, so it'd be Kyo, comma, Tom. Tom Kyo was one of the early players of the AD&D &D campaign. So Kyotum's Ointment, this sovereign salve is used for drawing poison, curing disease, or healing wounds. A jar of this ungent is small, perhaps three inches in diameter and one inch deep, but it contains five applications. Placed upon a poison wound or swallowed, it detoxifies any poison or disease. Rubbed on the body, the ointment heals 9 to 12 points of damage. 1 to 3 jars will commonly be found. So that's up to 5 to 15 doses. That's pretty good. 9 to 12, of course, you throw a die 8 and add 4 is how you get 9 to 12 in D&D. So looking at this, you go, okay, it's just more healing. Who cares? Well, wait a minute. This guy heals disease, uh, draws poison, heals disease, or heals wounds, not and. We had a big argument about this when uh, I was new to D&D. Reading the words, it, you can use it for either. Uh, when placed upon a poison wound or swallowed, it detoxifies any poison or disease. But it doesn't say anything about healing at that time. Rubbed on the body, the ointment heals 9 to 12 points of damage. So the way we've always played it was that if you swallow it or put it over the poison wound, so it's a it's a a bite and the bite is poisonous, you put it on the poison wound, it draws out the poison, it neutralizes the poison. Or if you have disease, uh, uh, something and you know from an old wound has gone gangrenous or some other type of disease, you either smear it over the gangrenous part or swallow it, it will cure the disease. It will not cure and heal, interestingly. Um... Uh, Placed upon a poison wound or swallowed, it detoxifies any poison or disease. Everything is or. So it's one dose per. If you have a poison wound that's gotten infected, you have two things. You've got the poison and you've got a disease. You need two doses of KO just to neutralize the poison and the disease. And then a third dose to heal up anything that you want. So, or any hit points that you want. That's why they're commonly coming five jars. Now, or three, five doses, three per, sorry. One to three jars, five doses each. Now, I would not give out Kyotum's ointment before mid-level at least. Sixth, eighth level thereabouts before I start handing out Kyotum's ointment. P 
Potions of healing, extra healing, yes, I will give those out fairly early. It's not unheard of for me to give out a potion of healing in the first game or two, depending, again, on the availability of a cleric. The other thing about potions and Kyotum's ointment, it's not made clear, can a potion affect something other than a human or a humanoid? And it doesn't say. So all it talks about is healing hit points. Well, I had a player years ago who really liked his horse. He'd put a lot of money into the horse, and uh, the horse got injured. So he said, I've got some KO. I'm going to rub the, the KO, Kyotum's ointment, on the wound and give it back 9 to 12 points. I said, okay, interesting idea. Read the, the write-up and said, there's no reason at all why you couldn't do this. Uh, it doesn't say it has to be, it, it can be anything that has hit points in the game, except, of course, undead and other planar things, things like that. But anything of our natural world or mystical world that has hit points can benefit from this. So I have ruled at my table, at least, that, of course, animals can benefit from this. Uh, my player Roy has an, a cave bear companion, uh, not charm to him or anything, it's just a companion to his druid. And uh, the cave bear has been injured, and he has used Kyotum's ointment in the past. We also allow cure light wounds, cure serious wounds, cure critical wounds, and even heals to work on any type of creature that has hit points that is of the, quote, see the air quotes, natural world. I wouldn't allow, and they would harm undead if you somehow were able to smear KO on an undead that would do damage. Good luck with that, by the way. And now the potions of healing and extra healing, the way we allow those to be administered to an animal would simply be if your horse was injured, you would pour the potion of healing into some kind of cup or uh, any kind of basin, bin, whatever you've got, and then the horse would drink it up and would heal the points of damage. Same with the potion of extra healing. And I have ruled just for gameplay that the animals like the taste of it, therefore they'll drink it. I don't, I don't quibble with that. As to forcing potions down unconscious people's throats, I've never really allowed that. If somebody were to really desperately try that, I might allow the potion to work at half efficacy because they'd be spitting out some. I know that goes against the rule where it says the whole thing must be quaffed. But, you know, you're pinching the guy's nose trying to pour it down his throat and have him reflexively swallow it. Um, never been a big fan of that trope. Uh, I don't really think it works. Let me know if you had, you know, real world experience otherwise, but I, I, I don't think it works. But I would allow half in a desperate situation, but it would have to be something pretty dire. I would not allow it to be poured into a horse's mouth uh, and swallowed. Now, if you could somehow inject it down an animal's throat, that would be different. So if you want to go ahead and invent the syringe or some type of bellows device to shoot it down the horse's throat, yes, I would allow that. But that's, uh, that's not something that's come up much in our campaign, and I really don't anticipate having to deal with it. So that's it. Just three Quick, simple ways to get healing into your campaign uh, early. Potion of healing, post extra, extra healing, and my personal favorite, Keotum's ointment. I love KO. I have a couple of high-level characters that absolutely make a point of getting KO. If they don't have it, they find some alchemist or somebody to make it for them. I like having KO on hand. It takes care of poison, takes care of disease, and heals 9 to 12 points of damage, so it's very useful. And that's all I've got to say today on page 121. I want to thank you for your time. Thanks for watching. If you like what you heard and saw, please like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next time.